Hello friends, welcome back to Spanglish. My name is Hector. Uh, it has been a while since I made my last video. And uh, well we are doing we are doing well uh, thank God. And so I hope that you, your loved ones and friends are doing well too. Uh, despite all this that is happening around us. Uh, some call it the second wave of the COVID-19. I don't believe that. I believe this we are still in this first wave. Uh, but there is a lot of uh, skepticism. And because of that, some people have decided to reopen their country and, and so now we have seen a research on COVID-19 cases, thousands of them, especially in, in the U.S. So, and also here in Japan, yes, not like in the States, but yes, there have been some cases and other parts of the world too all right so anyway this topic is about the similarities between spanish and english and i made this video well actually it's going to be two videos okay this is the first part and this is the, a brief part of the things that have made spanish and english very similar and so I made the video because of questions from students, friends, about when, when they are either learning English or Spanish, they notice that many words are spelled almost the same. The pronunciation is different, but the spelling is very close. And so they have these concern questions. And at the same time, they, they say, how lucky you are. And I say to them, how lucky they are. Anyway, so, and that's why, that's why I made this video, okay? And in my personal opinions, these are the four most important points why Spanish and English are so similar, in my personal opinion. But before I do that, I'd like to explain something that I, that I have the chance to explain to my students because I'm there with them and I have the time. But with you, if you have those same concerns, same questions, I do not have that luxury. So I'm taking this time to try to explain to you the, the best way I can, okay? So when my students are taking Spanish for me, especially Spanish, uh, I present them my alphabet, okay? The one that I know for, since I was a little kid, okay? And the one that they have seen for many years is not the same. There are some letters in the alphabet I, am, I use that they have never seen. And so questions arrive or arise. And so I have to explain it. And I say, well, uh, someone or some group of people in the education system in Spain, Madrid, decided to remove those letters from the Spanish alphabet. And so that's the reason why you don't see them. But when they did that, I mean, they forgot to remove also the 
hundreds and hundreds of words that use those letters. So it doesn't make sense for me what they did. So. And so now probably this is a little bit clearer for you. Why? Why in my country, Mexico, we use 30 letters in our alphabet. Okay? So now let's do this. And I'll be brief. This is, this is not uh, a deep uh, explanation why Spanish and English are similar. Okay? It's, it's a brief explanation. All right? So but let's do that. And number one, both languages use the same Roman alphabet. The same. So when we are learning Spanish or English, uh, the Spanish speaker or English speaker, when we look at the alphabet, we don't have any trouble to rec recognizing any of the letters. We know the letters. The pronunciation might be different but we know the letters. So that is a huge advantage for us when we are learning either Spanish or English, okay? Now the second, both language have five vowels. And so that is another point, okay? To make those, these two languages similar. Here in Japan, they use those five vowels, and the pronunciation is just like the Spanish pronunciation. But the position of some of those vowels are different. The pronunciation is just right on target. Okay? It's the same. All right? Now, number three. All English words have related words in Spanish. What do I mean by that? <clears throat> well, it means that many hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of words when it comes to spelling are very close, Spanish and English. So for us to read them, I mean, the pronunciation again is different, but the spelling is very close, very similar, okay? And in an average of 35 to 45 percent of all the words that those two languages use, they are very, very close. Okay? And the last point, both languages use the same grammar structure. Subject at the beginning of a sentence, the verb in the middle, and the object at the end. Okay? The Spanish and English use that same system. On the other hand, in Japanese, they use S O B. Subject, object, and verb at the end. In some situations, some, they use subject, verb, object. All right, the most of the time is the opposite way. That is why for them it is very difficult to learn a Western language, Spanish or English. And for us, at the same time, it is difficult for us to learn their language. It's very different, okay? So I hope this video is helping you to understand better. And the second video I will be more clear. Okay, or at least I will try to be more clear and I will show you a lot of examples why these two languages are similar. All right, see you later.